Hello good people and welcome back to Family Fitness with the Martins. Today we have another episode, especially after going through what we have been going through in quarantine. We have seen the importance of having a gym at home. You can own your own gym or you can have your own gym at home and forget about the gym subscription that you're supposed to pay every month. I'm not saying that people do not subscribe to the gym. I'm also a gym trainer, so we still need clients. But if you think or if you have ever thought of starting your own gym, especially due, due to your schedule and also due to what we have learned from this season of Corona, it's time to have our own gyms at home. And today's episode is going to tell you how you can own a gym with only less than 15,000 Kenya shillings. So please join us in this session and get to learn more as we do this. Welcome. So what I'm going to give you today is exactly what I have at home and something i know that is going to work for you because it has worked for me something you need to keep building slowly by slowly i'm going to give you the whole uh, account of what i have the kgs and how much i bought it and where i bought it and how many or examples or of exercises that you can do using those equipment and a total will be only less than 15,000 Kenya shillings. So the first equipment that I have at home is a tone dumbbell twin pack, 2 kg. So those are two dumbbells, 2 kgs each. The ones that you use, uh, you can use them in aerobics for toning uh, and also especially for toning your hands. So you can combine when you're doing cardio exercises and aerobics, you can hold on those small dumbbells so that you can continue toning your arms, your shoulders as a combination of the whole thing. Those dumbbells, the, like the twin pack, the two of them, I got them at uh, actually all these equipments, I bought them at the Decathlon. So the dumbbells, the 2kg dumbbell, I bought it at 1,450 shillings only. And we have said those are dumbbells that you can use when you're doing your cardio exercises, when you're doing aerobics, so that you can like improve on your toning. The next equipment we are going to share with you uh, is a dumbbell like a dumbbell, a weight dumbbell that you can use now to like build muscle. The other one we have said is a toning dumbbell. That is why we only have two kgs. So the other, the dumbbell number two we are talking about is a dumbbell that you can use to build muscle if that is uh, your other option. So that dumbbell, the dumbbell that I have here is 7.5 kgs. 7.5 kgs, I bought it at 3,000. 650 Kenya shillings only. Remember I said all this equipment, I got them at the Cathron. What you can do with a dumbbell, I bought one because you don't have necessarily to have two dumbbells. Remember here I'm trying to cut costs. So what you can do with this one dumbbell, if you're doing bicep curl, that is one of the exercises that you can do with the dumbbell. If you're doing bicep curl, you can do this arm bicep curl, then switch to the other side and that would have, will have sorted you completely. Another exercise that you can do with it is a tricep overhead extension. Remember that exercise, we hold the dumbbell here, full grip, then press here to work the triceps. That's another exercise you can use the dumbbells for. The same dumbbell can be used for shoulder workout. An example that I have here for shoulder workout is the press. Holding the dumbbell and pressing for your shoulder workouts. And uh, I'm trying to do all this to give all these examples to you to show you the dumbbell, the only one dumbbell can do a lot of workouts and covering many muscles of your body. So another exercise, other exercises that you can do with the dumbbell uh, is when you're training your legs. You can do lunges holding the dumbbell here and uh, 
other exercises, many leg exercises that you can do and you need a dumbbell. Especially remember here we're talking about for those people who want to build muscle and also to cut down on fat. The third equipment I want us to talk about is a weighted barbell. What I have is a 1.75 meter bar and a double plates of rubber plates, 5 kgs each. There is so much you can do with a barbell at home. So much exercises, so many of them. So to me, that's an important equipment to have at home. So uh, the barbell, I got it at 3450. 3450 Kenya shillings and the plates the pair the both the five kgs two of them I got them at 3900 Kenya shillings so what I may want to also add on that are the examples of exercises you can do with a bar because they are many 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 exercises uh, I'll go muscle a muscle and an example of uh, exercises you can do with the bar so we have back you can do deadlifts with the bar so weighted bar you can do you you can work out your back using the barbell so you can do deadlifts and you can also do the rows with the bar for the back and many other exercises uh, the other muscle you can work out with the bar is the shoulders you can do the press remember the the press i'm just giving an example of one exercise you can do um per muscle the next one is a uh, chest for chest you can do the chest press lying down it's not a must to have a bench you only need to have a soft service maybe on your mat and also on your carpet at home you can do the chest press lying down um another muscle that you can work out using the barbell is legs that day you're working your legs you can carry your bar and do the squats using the weights remember to be able to build muscle you need to push your body more than normal or more than more than you have been doing so we have moved from uh, using body weight and now you want to build muscles so you want to use weight to build bulk muscles. So those are just examples. There are many other exercises that you can do, but uh, we're just giving examples to show you that this equipment we're giving you can help you work out like the full body and build muscle at home, not necessarily going to that gym. The next equipment, everyone know, and I know most of you have it at home, is a skipping rope skipping rope will help you in so much especially in burning fat because when you're skipping you are going to burn a lot of calories and you're going to like cut down on your fat significantly if you include it continuously in your workout actually you can be using the skipping rope as a way of warming up before you do exercises not necessarily every day, but it's a good way of warming up all your muscles before you like jump in to a workout. And also it's a good workout for cardio, a cardio workout. So you don't have necessarily to do it so that you can do other exercises, but you can do it on its own. The skipping, skipping are very good in cutting fat. And you know, a uh, skipping rope, you will only get it at 100 bob. This one I didn't buy at Decathlon because they are available everywhere. Everywhere you go in the street, you'll get them uh, from from the range of 100, uh, depending on what you want or the quality you want. But even the 100 bob one is a good one to give you what you want. So last and not least, we have a yoga mat or a gym mat. You don't necessarily need it but if possible have it because it will help you to work out from anywhere even away from your carpet you can use your carpet as your mat yes but what of that time that you feel like working out there you will need a mat so it's necessary but if you don't have or if you are trying to cut down on cost 
it's not a must you can buy it slowly as you continue like planning for your home gym Ioga mat is just 1500 or that is the range from 1500 and above depending on the quality you want you will get your yoga mat so finally i want to go through that list and remind you what we have talked about that we have talked about the tone dumbbells we have talked about the heavyweight dumbbell we have talked about the barbell with its weights the plates and we have talked about a skipping rope and finally we have said you need a yoga mat or a gym mat at home remember that is just the start not everything we have not said about everything but remember what we want to to like bring to you or to bring to your knowledge is you can start small you don't have to go buy all the equipment and bring them at home you can work out your body you can build your muscles by uh, by bringing home or buying equipment slowly by slowly and we hope we have given you a list of the things that you are uh, you can start with all necessary equipment that we think are good to start up a gym and are going to give you like a full body workout especially for those people who want to add on some muscles and cut down on fat thank you so much for watching we hope the information was very helpful to you and you're going to take a step toward starting your own gym because it is possible do not forget to like comment down below if you have any question please ask because we are here for you and do not forget to subscribe because much more is coming if you're interested in any of those equipments we're going to put a link down below so that it can be easier for you to access them in the decathlon website thank you so much we we'll see you next time bye